Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is string? The left and right chop notes. Let's go ahead and fire through this quick little example of a very confusing and, in my opinion, misnamed node. So here's our example. When we run it, a few spaces, this is a long string of text, and a few more spaces after it. Now the left and the right chop is intended to chop off the left or the right side of the string, but they're actually named backwards. If you think left chop, I want to chop off the left part, it's actually the right chop. And if you think right chop will chop off the right part, it actually chops off the left part. Now I know the point is basically left chop will return the left side that you're not chopping off, and the right chop will return the right side that you're not chopping off, but with the way they're named, it can be a little confusing. So let me show you. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Now left chop by default will have zero as the count, and if we run it, you'll see the entire string of text. Let's go ahead and chop off an even 15 numbers. Now this is left chop, count of 15, and when we run it, you'll notice we no longer have the end of our string. We just have this is a long string space, whereas the entire thing is this is a long string of long text in a few spaces. Left chop is giving you the left side after it chops off your count. So we're chopping off 15 from the right. Now right chop will be the exact opposite. Basically we're going to chop off 15 from the left and give you back the right. So when we do this, we're basically removing the first 15 characters from the left of our string. Once you understand that the left chop gives you the left and the right chop gives you the right, then you shouldn't have too much of an issue here. Those are left and right chop nodes. They're useful if you want to basically cut off a certain part. Maybe you're stripping something into different parts and you want to continue on because, for example, you can take your long string, do the left chop with 15 characters, go ahead and reassign it. Well, after you do something with this, go ahead and reassign it back to long string, and now you have a 15 character shorter string. And it may be a way, for example, to continually cut down something without having to take and rename and redo your variables. So think of like a disappearing text. Let's say you had a long string like this and you want each character to be removed one at a time. You could use the left chop, for example, return back here, print it out, then take after you printed it, set your long string back to your return value. You're now, let's say one character shorter, loop back here and do the same thing. And every time you print out, you're going to be printing out one character shorter, and it's going to look like your string is slowly disappearing. So, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.